Hey everybody. Hi everyone. It's May. And it feels a lot like April, which felt Our a lot like March. March. Yeah. I know. The uh, wind's blowing in. Uh, the storm must be blowing in. And you'll see that we don't have leaves, green leaves on our trees up here yet. But it's still May. It's still May. It, it is. And the sun is winning. It's it's just to the north uh, more and more every, yeah. every time we get out of bed in the morning. And that's very heartening. Yeah. So it rolls on and it rolls on. This month, we've been thinking about what it means to be organismic. Organismic. You yes. didn't say orgasmic, you said organismic. Organismic, yeah, you gotta listen twice. Gotta organismic. Listen and you know, I, I found that that term really is sort of a description of, of philosophy and, and theology and how people think. Started way back in the uh, ancient uh, Greek era and was really the dominant way of thinking and, it, and it's based on our parts of our body are all connected and we're connected to community and every single thing has a certain life force in the world and then mechanistic science came along and it sort of plunged out of favor but uh, in fact science is now rediscovering, well not rediscovering but uh, making its biggest advances based on organismic philosophy. Yeah it is something that has been around. It shows up in organismic biology which is kind of interesting that it would have to be a separate thing. Um, it's a, a thing that takes more into account ecology. And in the case of the social sciences, our biological systems, our intellectual systems, our emotional systems, and the ineffable spiritual systems, all of which are affected by our, our social interactions and our interactions with the world around us. They can't not be. And so we're organismic, whether we want to admit it to ourselves or, and we may prefer not to use the word, it's not the funnest word. Funnest. It's not the funnest, no. <laughs> but there it is. And here we are, organismic because of this connection. And this is what we talk about often in full yeah. ecology. Yeah, it, it really is, uh, as you've heard us say before, impossible. Although it can be useful and you can learn some truth you can't parcel things down to the fact that um, you've got a collection of parts and then expect to be able to reassemble them and have, have it all work the way it did. Um, we're all so interdependent in ways that we're just beginning to realize. Right, right. If I took all the parts, on um, one, I remember this illustration, all the parts of a watch and put it in a box, little box, and shook it, it would never turn into a watch, ever. And, you know, the more biological example is if you have all the parts of a bird and no matter what you do, you can't make it fly. It's not going to fly unless it's... So this is this that we are. So the organismic association or the organismic uh, meaning is that we are connected, but that we are connected within this as well. And so all the parts that go into making you, you, or into me, or Gary, into any of us, by themselves aren't very interesting. It's in concert that they become the fascinating beings that we are. You know, and it reminds me too that uh, the cutting edge biologists, the ones who are really realizing that the mechanical physics, what we really think is all that as far as the basic science we learned, um, is just a small part of what is in fact mostly a process that you can't really isolate and nail down. One biologist said it's very much like a flame. You, you can't dissect a flame uh, and, 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 and have it continue to be what it is. You know, it, it, it is a continual process of taking in oxygen, releasing heat, and, and that stream, if you will, that river, um, is another way that some biologists think of it. It's, it's much more accurate as far as how life goes. So when we try to nail it down, um, that's not going to work. You too mean well. to understand it or just well, to control it mechanically? I think to c control it. And of mm -hmm. course we are controlling many things and that's why we've got the technologies we do. But uh, as far as some of the big questions that we've got now as far as how the planet works, how climate change can be dealt with, these are very complex process-oriented um, issues, and I think we have to think of how connected and independent we are, as you suggest, if we're going to come up with the solutions that, that uh, lean on the diversity of those kinds of processes. So the fact is, we are nature in nature. That's it. 
We are nature, and nature, each of us is individual beings, and no matter how many buildings we build, or bombs we build, or bombs we drop, or, you know, on and on, uh, <laughs> uh, social media services we purchase, yes. you know, we're still nature, in nature, and that is where, that is going on whether we believe it, or we like it, or not, it's going on, that's all that's going on, and then everything else is a manifestation of that. And so this is where the conversation can calm down. And this is where we can locate ourselves and start asking what are the solutions from here rather than what are the solutions from the complicated places and messes that we get ourselves into. Yeah. And it's, you know, one other little interesting nerdy aspect of biology. We talk a lot about the uh, microbial uh, networks that exist, the funguses fungal networks, basically, yeah. underneath the forest connecting trees of different species, allowing them to pass uh, carbon back and forth, sugars, um, uh, alert other trees in the forest to insect invasions. Um, th those networks, and that's a phenomenal bit of symbiosis, really are predicated on what do you have that could help me and what do I have that can help you? So it's and a barter system. It is a barter system, and at the point they've noticed with these networks, these uh, mycelium, wonderful strands of that microbial network. If ever there is a, a shut off of that exchange, so it's just the tree giving uh, and not getting back, then the tree has a way to compartmentalize those particular strains of mycelium and, and sort of shut them off and, and they're no longer part of the exchange. So we and really- And so just deal with other ones? And to just deal with uh -huh. many of the other species that are still providing that, that exchange. And so, um, you know, I guess that's true, I would imagine, in, in human world, too. We, we come together and we get together and we work together because there's a benefit to, uh, to each of us. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to go into it, but that's fascinating. Some of you all might want to ponder that further in thinking about this whole notion of sanctions against Russia. Mm. And, and then what Russia is saying is, well, if they won't play with us the way we want to be played with, we'll play with other people. So, you know... That's a little macabre as an example of this sort of thing, but I didn't know that about myself. Yeah, here we are, just uh, nature and nature, and in what Gary's describing, even nature itself, even though it's anthropomorphizing potentially, and maybe not, mm -hmm. is social, and is making social decisions based on what's going to maintain the most health for the most. And that's what's going on even right now when little drops of rain are falling on us. Yeah. We are headed for the canyon country and we will be doing our deep dive this month on May 12th at 6 o'clock mountain time some place from some place in the slip rock. In remote, some place uh, in the canyons. Southwest, yes. Yeah. You said slip rock, I thought, and said slip rock, which the I slick hope rock. is an important uh -oh. of, uh, we're going to have yeah. to be very careful as we're uh, scrambling about the rest. I meant slip rock. <laughs> Yeah, it's the cool term that all the rocky people know, the people who know rocks know about. Uh, yeah, yeah. Love rocks. So that's what's happening as far as the deep dive, and then there's are still a few sp spots left on our retreat. Um, so be in touch with us at connect at fullycology.com. Check out the website at www.fullycology.com. We're also really thrilled to have this month's How It Looks From Here podcast with Petra Kuppers, who is a disability activist, talk about living and working and advocating for organismic being. And she is a, a movement artist, a performance artist, and a scholar extraordinaire. Um, and sh she really looks at the way all of us are interacting and are expressing nature, our nature and the nature of the you know, and many of you have offered such kind uh, feedback, uh, comments on uh, our book, Full Ecology. If we could ask, please uh, don't hesitate to go on. Goodreads is, is especially potent as a way to spread the word, uh, and uh, we'd, we'd appreciate even just the star rating, uh, but if you've got thoughts to share with other potential readers, uh, that would be great. Yeah, yeah, so thank you. We appreciate you, and next time, we're betting the chances are good we're going to be doing this update for June in some sunshine. I yeah. shouldn't jinx it. And leaves. I we're, hope we're so. definitely going to have leaves. Oh my gosh. <laughs>
<laughs> That'd be great. Okay. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next month. Bye. Have a now. great one. And join us in the deep dive. Okay. Bye, bye. for now. <laughs>